Array processing can be used on appropriate DNB line arrays. To use array processing effectively, the venue data and pickpoint locations must be precise, or the simulation and optimization process will not be accurate. Calibrated inclinometers and flying frames are mandatory, and dual pickpoints recommended to control the vertical tilt of the array on site. To show the array processing controls, enable them in the pop out menu of the respective arrays dialog. When array processing is enabled, changes in individual cabinet settings are locked. Grouped functions like configuration switches and delay are still available. Also, with array processing, the minimum delay of the respective array is 6.2 milliseconds. Every array can handle nine user-definable memory slots for different array processing settings and one bypass slot that only provides the same throughput delay but no cabinet-specific processing. Press the arrow button to open the array processing dialog. Electroacoustic adjustments can be set individually for each selected array processing slot. The level of a distance can be defined in three variable slope zones. Two markers define the transition between zones. Within each zone, the level drop per doubling of distance can be adjusted separately. Individual listening planes can also be offset in level. For example, a stand that has not been sold. Alternatively, a listening plane can be specified as a reflective surface. The array processing algorithm will then reduce the level on that plane as much as possible. This only affects the high mid and high frequencies. This is also the frequency range that typically produces the most noticeable reflections. As a special option, a listening plane can also be set to level avoidance. The algorithm will then try to reduce the level on that plane as much as possible over the widest achievable frequency range. As this is a very extreme setting, it may reduce available headroom significantly. Also, the array will not be phase compatible with other parts of the system anymore. The level avoidance option is not available by default and has to be enabled in array calx preferences. To allow for the correct compensation of air absorption effects, both temperature and humidity should be set precisely. Finally, the processing emphasis can be set using the power or glory fader. The default setting of zero will give a good balance of all parameters and is the recommended starting point. Moving the control towards glory puts more emphasis on meeting the target frequency response and level distribution. Moving it towards power puts more priority on system headroom. The realizer bar constantly indicates how well the current settings can be achieved. A red indication here means that the selected settings are too extreme and processing is denied. If the meter is green or yellow, the calculation can be started. When the optimization process has finished, the respective filter settings are stored in the selected slot. The result tab then shows the processed and unprocessed frequency responses for a selection of reference points. At this point, it is highly recommended to assign a meaningful name to the slot, as well as a further comment if required. This information will also be visible in the R1 remote control software. The level over distance plot on the sources view now also displays the processed results. The array processing LED in the sources dialog is lit up in green when array processing is active and all settings are OK. It will change to amber when either the venue or the array have been modified and recalculation is required.
Before saving the project, it is recommended to check the amplifier's view for the desired loudspeaker to amplifier assignment. A detailed array processing reference is also available in the help section that can be opened by pressing F1.